Hello and welcome to this 2021 edition of this sports program. This is Football Planet here at Africa News. My name is Michael Odiambo Odwar. This edition presents all football events around the continent and the entire world with an in-depth analysis of the upcoming African National Championship, also known as CHAN. Next are our headlines. All eyes are set on the upcoming African National Championship, also known as CHAN, tournament, beginning this Saturday, the 16th January in Cameroon. A detailed report by our journalist Joel Kwam from Cameroon will follow suit. And then we take a look into various prospective teams heading to the CHAN. Congo Brazzaville cry foul over lack of training. The team now says that they have not trained for a period of nine good months, yet they have to face the CHAN competition. We are going to have an in-depth analysis of the Shan on the potential teams that can lift this cup or that may show great progress in terms of their play. We will be joined by our sports correspondent and journalist from Senegal, Johnson Wahani Sambo. The sixth edition of the Chan competition is finally here this week. The competition is to be hosted in three Cameroonian cities of Yahunde, Douala and Limbe. It was rescheduled before. Uh, from April uh, you know, 4th to 25th last year due to the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic. And the competition only features home-based players and will now run from January 16th to February 7th. And let's now take a look at uh, various uh, groups and uh, various uh, teams in respective uh, uh, groups. We have Group A matches that will take place at Amadou Ahijo Stadium in Yahunde. The group consists of Cameroon, Zimbabwe, Mali, and Burkina Faso. The first Group A matches featuring the indomitable Lions of Cameroon will open the event against Zimbabwe at the Amadou Ahijo Stadium in Yahundi at 16 hours GMT. And then when you go to Group B, we have matches that will take place at Japoma Stadium in Douala. The group features teams like Libya, Niger, DRC and Congo. The first Group B matches will feature the Mediterranean Knights of Libya versus Niger at 16 hours GMT. The Group C will take place at Douala Reunification Stadium and will also feature Morocco, Togo, Rwanda and Uganda. And then when we go to Group C, we will have teams like Morocco versus Togo match on Monday 18th and the second match will feature Rwanda versus Uganda at 16 hour GMT. And then lastly in Group D matches will be held at Stad Omnispor de Limbe and will feature Zambia, Tanzania, Guinea and Namibia. Let's now head to Cameroon, where all preparations are over on the upcoming Chan competition. The 16 teams that qualified are ready to compete in this tournament despite the raging pandemic. Many reactions from various football fans in Cameroon on this tournament. Now, let's take and uh, have more details with our African news correspondent, Joel Kwan from Cameroon, on this piece. The Chan 2021 is finally here. The competition is set to begin this Saturday, January the 16th, with a march between the host Cameroon and Zimbabwe. Locals are calling for government to hype the tournament. Contrary to our expectations, we realize that less than 10 days before the tournament begins, there is no excitement. There are no billboards announcing the competition in the city. I believe that the authorities of the city of Douala will put at our disposal fixed places for the sale of tickets to access the stadium. A major attraction to this tournament will be the inauguration of the Japoma Archer Morning Sports Complex in Douala. Few stadiums that have been renovated, a couple have been constructed, for example, um, the Japoma Football Stadium. It's, it's, it's an entire sports complex where Pool B teams will compete, um, uh, cost a lot of money to the Cameroonian government. It's an ultra modern football facility that's expected to host games for the um, 2022 Africa Cup of Nations. Uh, you, had the, uh, you have the annex facilities around that uh, uh, stadium. Meanwhile, a mini chan tournament was organized as a warm up to the home base players' competition. Zambia drew with the host Cameroon and are not eager to excel further in forthcoming games. By making our striker being our the best defender and our defender and goalkeeper being our the best striker. Uh, all teams need to defend and protect the goalkeeper. We cannot be uh, blaming in team sport one, one player. No excitement and posters in the city of Douala 
only a week before the start of the Chan. Yet, this stadium located in the Japoma district will host one of the most important matches. Yawande has repeatedly said it is ready to host the competition, but there are other minor constructions still ongoing. Now, our second story is in the Republic of Congo, where players and fans are worried about the state of their formation after the state had stopped all sporting activities, including National Football League. More details with our African news correspondent John Dinga from the Republic of Congo, Brazzaville. The Republic of Congo is heading into the Chan competition in Cameroon. But it will be difficult as COVID has prevented training for months. In Congo, the league has been stopped since March. We're in January 2021. We have spent almost 11 months without a championship and without training. The training sessions took place barely two months ago. What should we expect? But the national youth instructor at the Point Noir Soccer League says the pandemic is just a mere factor in the long-standing football problems in the Republic of Congo. Our problems are deep within the organizational framework. Youth soccer must be organized because it is the backbone of the elite. The biggest problem is that we don't organize youth soccer. There's also a lack of equipped soccer pitches to allow young people to express themselves and play for a long time. These young people only play in small tournaments. The consequence is that there will always be a loss of talent. This is the Red Devils' third time in the tournament, which is for players in local championships on the continent. In 2014, the Congolese team was knocked out in the group phase by Libya in South Africa. Four years later in Morocco, the same Knights of the Mediterranean eliminated the Red Devils in the quarterfinals. In the sixth edition, Congo will again meet Libya, the DRC and Niger. In this Group B, we do have what we can term as the Congo River Derby. That is the match between the two neighboring countries, Congo Brazzaville and the Democratic Republic of Congo. But for now, the most awaited Chan competition is here. Well, for those who are not informed about the details on this competition, Chan is a tournament that only features home-based African players. We are now joined by Wahani Johnson Sambu, who is the African news journalist and sports correspondent from Senegal. Wahani is to highlight to us some prospect on this Chan competition. Now, welcome back, Wahani. Hello, Michael. Happy to meet you again. Finally, the most awaited competition is here. The Chan competition is to kick off the 16th of January, and we have a total of 16 teams spread across four groups. What can we expect from this competition? Not much in my view of the prevailing situation. We have been affected by this virus for almost a year now. I think that this Chan will not be in the same standards as the previous editions. The players will arrive in this tournament not in their usual shape, but will be a little lower, in my opinion. Therefore, I do not expect much in this championship. Now, let's talk about the known big teams that are always favorite to win the cup. We have teams like Egypt, Senegal, the host Cameroon, Nigeria. And don't forget about Ghana. Do you see one of them winning this competition? And uh, what's so unique this time about these teams? Any improvement observed? Well, listen, in the absence of some of the big names from the continent like Egypt, Nigeria or Côte d'Ivoire, I think today the defending champion, Morocco, is the favourite to win the Chan. Why is that? Because it is among the most qualified countries with whom most players scooped Africa's club championship. But be aware, between what the predictions say and what happens on the field, it is sometimes different. They must also be aware of teams like the DR Congo, which has players like like Florent Mbenga as the captain. There's also Mali, which claims the status. Mali is always unpredictable in this kind of tournament. You probably ask me, why not Cameroon, which is the host country? I'll answer you that it does not inspire my confidence. Because during the pre chan tournament, which has just been completed, the results left many with a lot of questions. 
Even their supporters remain pessimistic. But maybe playing at home might help them through. In every competition, we do have the underdogs and who are not expected to win or progress further during the competition. Do you think we have this team among the 16 teams present in Cameroon? They are outsiders in almost every competition, unexpected teams. As far as Chan is concerned, personally, I'm very suspicious of those teams whose players form the backbone of their first national team. This is a case with teams like Zambia, Zimbabwe, Uganda and even Tanzania, who were the quarter-finalists in the last edition. These are teams that can really create a surprise. Another team that can also create another sensation in this chart is Libya. Although drafted, the Libyans are still a formidable opponent. They were semi-finalists in Morocco. They can surprise many, like in 2014, when they were crown leaders when they met Ghana. Have you been wondering how much the winning team gets? Before 2018, the winning team got $700,000. But later on, CAF increased the price to $1.25 million. The runner-up got $700,000. Third place got roughly $400,000. And fourth place got $300,000. Now, Morocco are the current champions, and they lifted the trophy in 2018. DR Congo were the first winners in 2009. Tunisia was the second, and Libya in 2014, and then DR Congo in 2016. This marks the end of this week's Chan edition of the Football Planet. We meet again in another edition before the semis and quarterfinals. More info on our website, www.africanews.com, and also on our Twitter handles and Facebook page. See you next time, and my name is Michael Odiambodwar. And this is Africa News, your voice.